Good morning, fam, and welcome to the new video. First, why I look like an idiot like this, or maybe you wonder, maybe you're not wonder, maybe you got used to seeing me looking like an idiot. <laughs> it's a morning, and I'm about to go do my fasted cardio. So I'm probably also gonna explain you step by step everything, whole procedure. Currently, we are having cardio only four times per week, 20 minutes less, pretty much. But I'm not gonna lie, sorry Alex if you watch this video, my coach. Uh, I'm pretty much doing every morning cardio. I just can't eat the breakfast before I kind of start moving, any kind of movement or anything. Either I go walk my dog a little bit, either on the days when I'm not supposed to do cardio, I do only 10 minutes in the morning just to like, uh, kind of let the digestion going and everything. We are officially in a push phase, so we started our push phase, which means after the show, pretty much, uh, we went to the health phase when you're recovering from being depleted so long from, uh, you know, hormones being all around the place, etc., etc. doing your reverse diet. Once the reverse diet is properly executed, then you can start a push. And by push, we mean a real bulk, right? So far, it is it was bulk. We are booking for a while because my reverse was pretty high. We executed that properly and now we are starting to push. Uh, calories and macros didn't change as much because we do still have a lot of cheat meals and everything. So on our base days, our calories are pretty much the same. And then on our higher days, calories are going pretty high over, over four, uh, four and a half thousand calories. But I'm gonna walk you through on current full day of eating. Again, I didn't film a full day of eating for a while for you guys. So, and overall, just a kind of a maybe day in the life, maybe implement some workout. Uh, what I'm currently eating, uh, trying to get five meals, usually it's four meals per day, just because, uh, I don't know, you're not on prep, so I can enjoy myself a little bit more, skip a meal or two and then have a bigger meals instead of that and stuff like that. Four meals is the minimum that I will suggest to anyone, even to my clients in off season, not to go lower than four meals. Three meals is too low for a bodybuilding. Four to six is the best possible range for me five works the best there is a lot of things that i can go through this video but firstly i'm gonna go do my cardio come back shower and i start preparing my first meal of the day which i'm gonna show you which if you follow me you probably already know it's pretty much always the same so catch you after i finish my cardio I'm just gonna show you before I start preparing uh, what I'm gonna have and then probably gonna be roll it so you know. Breakfast and the dinner are two meals that I enjoy the most. I like to sit in a peace and a quiet and just either edit it or watch some YouTube video in the morning. Drink my coffee, that's my piece of the day. Uh, and uh, with that said, I'm just gonna show you the, gr the items that we're gonna have for the first meal, be roll that and uh, show you the calories and macros. I usually eat Put white potatoes uh, for the breakfast. In this case, I'm, we're gonna make in you know, an air fryer sweet potatoes, also for the mega fit meals. We're gonna have a, some spinach for our micronutrients. We're gonna have some egg whites. We're gonna have a three whole eggs, maybe even four. We're gonna see pasteurized whole eggs. I started eating quite a bit eggs, I'm not gonna lie. Instead of eggs, only substitute that I will have either will be salmon, either bison patties from a mega fit meals. And we're gonna have uh, three slices of uh, honey wheat toast as well because I like to put my eggs. So if I have uh, four eggs, I'm probably gonna have four slices. I like to put each egg on a toast, if that makes any sense. And uh, that's gonna be pretty much the breakfast. Now I'm gonna assemble that, show you the first meal calories and macros, and that's how we're gonna start the day. So whoever is new, guys, sorry about my hair, I just showered. Like, share, subscribe. Let me prepare my first meal.
As you can see here, my pre-workout meal is in prepare. Right now, I'm uh, ready pretty much for the gym because I usually don't tend to eat a huge pre-workout meal before the gym, even on a bulk, because I kind of fast a little bit so I can have a, a solid breakfast. And then it has been only hour, hour and a half since the breakfast. But uh, before I show you the pre-workout meal and why it's still in the make, I just want to tell you this, I think, first video of 2024, maybe second, I think first one was the recipes, if you want to go check it out. But um, uh, thank you guys for support in 2023. I just wanted to say that uh, I love you guys, I appreciate you, whoever watched, whoever is an OG since the day one here on YouTube. Uh, YouTube has always, always been my biggest kind of passion and uh, I purely love and enjoy filming YouTube videos. I know what works, I know what can go viral and stuff like that, but this is just my type of, you know, vlogging and uh, and a YouTube videos that I like and enjoy to film and that's like just picking the camera and showing you what I eat, how I train, etc. Just sharing the journey with you guys, just having a YouTube as a diary, I will say. Pre-workout meal is pretty much done, so let me just show you that fast. I know this meal pretty much looks like a, like a child meal, but let me explain fast. Literally found in the store the other day the lowest uh, in the calorie or in the healthiest pretty much uh, nuggets. This not nuggets, actually this is chicken tenders. Uh, but crusted chicken tenders, but the clutches, they are not crusted in anything that is unhealthy or anything like that. It is crusted in a brown rice, jasmine rice, and a cauliflower rice flour. Pretty tasty, not bad. Definitely better than a plain chicken. Definitely not as good as a normal nuggets or tenders, but they are still pretty good. So I have that on this plate with a little bit of barbecue sauce. And then on the other plate, I have uh, two chocolate rice cakes and one has uh, 16 grams of uh, cashew butter for a slower releasing of uh, carbs. Overall, not a big meal, but pretty balanced meal for myself. The calories and macros are gonna be on the screen. As I said, I tend to eat pretty close to breakfast, my pre-workout meal, and then pretty much after this meal, guys, I'm heading to the gym in like 15 minutes. So almost immediately I'm going there. So until I start my warm up and everything, it kind of start digest, digesting and that's why I don't like a bigger meal before the gym because I do feel good and I do perform good on a smaller meals like this before the gym and then the most of my meals, bigger meals are going post-workout to replenish the glycogen, to, to recover properly, etc, etc. Also throughout the workout, if I'm losing the pump or anything, I always have a Rice Krispies with me. I do have a chest today, but our workouts are fully rescheduled since this week. And that's why I also pick up the camera. How our workouts look right now, it's gonna be on the screen. We have only one day per week now off and we have a bag three times per week. We started a push season and we only have a two months guys till we started a prep again. So two months for optimal growth and to actually make adjustments and be better next time. So today we have a chest on the menu. All right guys, let me just first show you a pre-workout concoction. What do we have per usual? Uh, already prepared, put everything in the bottles and we are about to go hit the gym ski. Also, by the way, throughout the whole day that you see me, everything is from a new drop, Young LA. January 16, this cool ass hoodie as well. Uh, code Orion 20% off, but also code Ghost, code Ghost, code Dorian for Ghost Lifestyle 20% off as well. But anyways, yeah, in my pre-workout, this cool ass shaker bottle, uh, we have a new Ghost all out and definitely, definitely my favorite so far, orange cream flavor. Uh, huge fan of this one. This is the only pre-workout that I actually so far in my whole life looking forward to drink, I swear. So one scoop of that also, 400 milligrams of a caffeine, 300 milligrams of normal caffeine and 100 milligrams of a slow releasing caffeine. So you don't have a uh, that caffeine cr crash, right? And also pump inside, nitric oxide, etc., etc. But I do use as well in my concoction 
pump from a ghost. In this case, Neri, which is uh, unflavored pretty much because I don't want to ruin my orange cream flavor. Two scoops of that because it's a chest day today. And then five grams of uh, unflavored creatine. It's not ghost because I don't have an unflavored ghost creatine, so I use this torn one. So that's in this one. And then intra workout, pretty much while I'm working out, we have a, in this hydro jug also from Young LA. I mean, everything that I have is either Young LA, either is a ghost. Uh, we're gonna have a 5 to 10 grams of uh, glutamine in that concoction. We're gonna have a scoop of a ghost aminos and a 5 grams of uh, again creatine ghost size, pretty much in this case, but 5 grams in this. So uh, that's pretty much my pre workout concoction right now. This I'm sipping throughout the workout. This I'm drinking while we're on the way to the gym. So that's what we're gonna do right now in this moment. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you either in the gym, either on a post-workout meal.
boys and girls we are back not talking in their workout but i did film something so that counts that counts i didn't plan to film because i've been filming recently a lot of reels and everything i just wanted to kind of like uh, enjoy my workout but nowadays i have as i said three times per week back and there is like two times per week chest those are two muscle groups that we need to develop in a short amount of time so we are pushing as much as we can so if you see me like doing a lot of exercises I've been spending quite a bit of time in the gym, I'm not gonna lie, hoodie on, headphones on, we only have a two months of a push and then we're gonna start a prep as I always said. With that said, immediately after, uh, I didn't give you any feedback or updates, we are currently on around 210 pounds pretty much, I show you that kind of opposing after the workout even though I didn't take my shirt off, it was quite a bit cold outside, uh, but uh, yeah, we are definitely growing and we just started a push so Hopefully last time the highest weight that we went was like 224 I think but the body fat was also Maybe not so high, but it was high and this time I'm 210 and I'm still really really lean and I'm really happy with that So I already see improvements right now just from a reverse dieting and everything So I know this time we're gonna be competitive to get that pro card with that said literally came back home and thank God had a mega fit meals just got a new order right now, I need to go pick it up right now. But I had two more meals left in the fridge and that's really what I mixed around. So I've been left with a skinny chicken fettuccine. So original, this meal that you saw or you're watching right now um, is skinny chicken fettuccine. I did add, since it's a post-workout meal, uh, chicken tenderloins, about like three ounces of a, uh, raw chicken tenderloins for extra protein and then for extra carbs uh, from then mornings that we ate in the morning, uh, sweet potatoes. I have been left with something, so I added that as well uh, on my meal. So even though the, the volume wise is not so big, uh, which we do want after a workout, calorie wise and, uh, you, know, you, know, you know, it's pretty dense meal, I will say. We're probably gonna have one smaller snack in between. That's what I do. Uh, smaller pre-workout, big post-workout, smaller snack, big dinner. So basically I have a three bigger meals and two kind of small meals. Breakfast is pretty big, pre-workout smaller, post-workout pretty big, snack smaller and then dinner is usually the biggest meal. That's kind of a tactic that I have and it works for me, okay. And now I'm gonna enjoy my meal, the calories and macros gonna be listed on the screen if you didn't know, see already. Need to walk a little gremlin, my dog, it's somewhere here. Uh, go for a walk, make, uh, get a snack, and then uh, Kelsey's coming pretty much home and enjoy watch some movie and uh, eat a dinner. So, catch you in a bit. Mm. The chicken fettuccine though, fire. Alright guys, came from that walk, now it's time to wind down, but we picked the packages. Megafit meal, shout out to Megafit. And also, shout out to Dumbbell Donuts. I'm actually gonna, wait a second. I'm not sponsored by the company, I think Gary, the young LA owner, I think either his owner, either a co-owner, either his like sister company from Young LA, but uh, recently I've been seeing all the Young LA athletes posting on a stories these dumbbell donuts and I just got my so chocolate chip donut there is a multiple flavors inside I like that this is how it looks like they look pretty cool I'm not gonna lie calories for this whole donut uh, there is with the topping and without topping so 180 calories without topping 8 grams of fat for this one 18 grams of carbs 10 grams of protein that's not bad at all that's not bad at all I'll definitely give you a taste test for that and all of them are different I will say. This one is a, yeah, you can see this one is a blueberry one. Might even get a, one of those donuts, two of those donuts as a snack. I don't know, let me just clean this shit up. I'm a, a freaking idiot. I don't know what to say. I literally just ate two of those donuts and the whole purpose of eating those donuts is to, <laughs> it was to film for you guys the taste test but I was also posting in a story to shout them out and I totally forgot to film so 
the meantime, I ate those two donuts. Now, our calories and macros are gonna be on the screen right now. But with that said, that was unplanned. I just literally wanted to film that and I forgot to film. We're probably gonna have uh, our big ass dinner and wrap this whole full day of eating up. So, yeah, I'm, I don't even know what to say. See you later. All right, guys, uh, if you wonder, just to show you fast snack while I'm editing the video. Thank God I always have prepared mega fit meals and I like to order, right now I'm ordering a lot of meals a la carte, which means like either just potatoes, just uh, steak. I've been ordering a lot of bison uh, recently. So it's a huge clutch, but I always also have a already prepared meals, right? So like this one, lota lota enchiladas. So I'm definitely eating that one. In two hours, I'm gonna make my last meal while I'm editing Ghost. Go Dorian, baby. Love you guys. Okay, well, I don't know if you can hear me because Kelsey is air frying her pizza. Uh, anyways, last meal of the day. It's gonna be like 16 million slices of our bread. Like 10 slices overall, I have a sourdough, two types of sourdough, and I have a honey wheat toast. I have a, this black on the top, that's recently what I started to do. It's like 30 grams of a cocoa powder mixed with a water, and I make it like a, what's the name of that? Like a... Like Nutella? Yeah, pretty much like Nutella, because like I also put like skinny syrups inside, hazelnut flavor. So like hazelnut with that chocolate, it literally tastes so close to the, uh, two, the Nutella, and then we have a pancake syrup as well on the top. You know how to make French tops, there is egg whites, there is a, I think even one whole egg inside of this just to uh, hit our protein and fats today. Oh yeah, and also I'm gonna have, show them that because like this, actually today I made, what well, they can see now. There's like six creamies, so one of the creamies as well with that meal, and that's gonna be my last meal aka okay, dessert aka okay, the biggest meal in volume at least for the day and this is when i like sit down and whatever my lens is dirty oh. when we sit down watch the movie so I, that's why i like to have the biggest meal for the end of the day so i can eat longer and, and enjoy my meal mm -hmm. so with that said calories and macros for this meal gonna be listed on the screen you're rubbing your belly and yeah because i'm, I'm looking at it i'm like oh, I'm gonna. <laughs> and the calories and macros for the whole day so that's kind of like a first episode, whatever, of this push phase. I don't know if I can do the episode of that, but we do have like two months of that part, which is like a real, real book. So the, the food, everything is gonna go higher and wait now for the next two months. So I guess I'm gonna just be filming the episodes, I guess. And then when the prep starts, then we're gonna get a, again, prep. We're all to pro again, second time. This time, I'm gonna get, so that's gonna be it. What do I need to do? Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment something. Comment something. Comment what's your favorite meal, like like this healthy, but like something that you have to eat every single day. That's what I need to comment down below. So maybe I'll figure that out, and I'll see you. Bye. <laughs>